Spurs, Manchester United three, Newcastle two, Manchester United finally picking up three points because they had to. Last game of the season out Old Trafford, you have to turn up for us. You have to give us a three points. But guys, I have to say three points feels so good because three points, three points is rare for us. Three points is rare for us because we don't win. We don't win all the time. We, we, free, winning ain't guaranteed for us, you know. So we gotta take our victories and and actually serenade and enjoy it sometimes because it's gonna be it's not it's not always guaranteed. Can you imagine? It's not always guaranteed. But again, Manchester United collecting three points against the two armies, which I'd say, bravo, bravo. Oh, Ahmed Diallo, bravo. Kobe Mainu, bravo. Rasmus Holland, thank you. But Bruno Fernandez, bravo to you too. I'm about bravo, Casimiro, bravo, because you man turn up today, especially Ahmad. Oh, sourcing, oozing sauce, as expression would always say. But yes, today, United, uh, let's, 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 let's just break it down, because when you look at that first 45 minutes where Manchester United didn't really start to the best of their abilities, and, and, um, so many times... We gave the ball away, you know, misplacing passes, not being able to control the, the half as well. And it was Newcastle who were the better side. Let's be honest with ourselves. But uh, we got that first goal, and that first goal was good. Kobe Mainu, an assist from Bruno, and a pass that went fed right through, and Mainu was running. Wait a minute, am I offside? Am I on or offside? And he didn't know what to do. Kobe Mainu taking the shot, scoring that goal, making it 1 0. And then, of course, the lovely blowing kisses to the Manchester United fans, you know, because he is the future of Manchester United. Everything should be built around him and that particular midfielder. And Manchester United was setting themselves on their way. And even in the 45 minutes, I just think that we wasn't good. We could have done a lot better, especially going forward as well, because we didn't test the breath cut really well. <sighs> Halftime 1-0, we're going into the second half. United can show a bit of enthusiasm when we go... Um, into that second half but one thing I've said the goal we conceded and uh, I'm I'm so worried because the amount of times we concede goals like this why do we concede goals by being the ball being cut or cross going straight into the box for someone to tap in Manchester United are just guilty of conceding goals like that and it has to stop you know Man City eat that for fun they love scoring goals like that tap ins they love it galore so Manchester United why can't you fix up defensively it's a good thing that Lissandro Martinez is back. Manchester United getting that lead. And Ahmed Diallo, who has been exceptional today, oozing sauce, balling today. Oh, all over the place, man. Skills. And I'm wondering, you've held him back. Every time now you scrub, you held back Ahmed Diallo. You held him back from us, you know. And so you gave us Marcus Trashford. Rashford, who's been absolute pants throughout the whole season. And Rashford himself, who he was booed. Rashford was booed so many times in this, in, in the had, and also had a little argument with the fans, his own fans. That's how you know he's done with this club. He's arguing with his own fans, Marcus Rashford. But, again, Ahmed Kamadi Awa, come of the man, Ahmed Diallo, with a fabulous strike from a corner um, from Manchester United for a Newcastle player to head it out. But it get, leads on to the platform and the pathway of Ahmed Diallo for Diallo to strike that ball in the back of the net and sent us in heavens Manchester United then made it 3-1 Rashmish Hoyland Bruno with a fantastic game with a lovely pass and then Rashmish Hoyland smashing it and finishing it in but Manchester United conceding a goal a long shot outside the box from Lewis Hall but overall I thought in our second half was good because with the goals kept on coming and we had a bit of control but there, there were times that I thought Newcastle was looking dangerous. And, this, and we were scared. We were scared when it was 3-2 in the last nine minutes in added times. Because we were thinking to ourselves, surely, not again, not again. But even full-time, we won. Even the speech of Eric Tenog wasn't convincing enough, you know. The guy saw his spit bare times when he was talking. <laughs> um, no, no Diddy, yes. Um, wasn't really convincing. You know, if that guy is the motivator in the change room, no wonder why they're not motivated for every single game. There's a reason why, because that was a horrible speech, man. I don't even think the fans bought it because they started booing at the start. Uh, I've never seen an end of season speech like that. 
But again, let's go to players because Casemiro, who was wonderful today, um, defensively, and then he moves into midfield, but he's crucial blocks and head that header off the line. Gotta say, that was crucial. Bruno Fernandes coming in and making a difference, getting those two assists. Ahmed Diallo, beautiful baller as well. Oh, Got the goal as well, the more the important goals. And Ahmed Bat played well back to back games. It is well, but man, the match day guys, I have to say, it's either going to be going towards Bruno Fernandez or Ahmed Diallo. But I'm going to go with Ahmed because that goal was was important. Bruno got the two assists, but that goal Ahmed scored was important to lead us into this victory and win us this game. Don't give the match today. Uh, I don't know, but you guys let me know in the comments, bro. But this has been your match reaction from your boy Ivor and Spice. <sighs> One more game for the Premier League and then of course the FA Cup to, to which which we desperately need to win to finish in Europe because Europe ain't going to be for us next season because Chelsea have secured themselves I think so three points clear and um, they can only lose it to Newcastle we on the other hand over goal difference we definitely not making Europe no more unless we win the FA Cup hopefully the boys can do it well guys let me know what your thoughts in the comments let me know who your man of the match is in docking the match and again as always, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it ready united. One more game, one more watch, two more watch alongs. Peace out, Sayonara.